I know I always say this, but I genuinely look like Prince Charming from Shrek with my hair like this. Hello friends. Today I'm bringing you this five minute no makeup, makeup, natural look. I don't know about you, but I can't be dealing in this heat as much as I love, love, love cake on my face. The sheer pain of knowing how long I spent on my makeup just to walk outside and for it to melt off. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. I said this is my quick fix. It is so super easy. I cannot even stress that to you enough. So for this video, I'm working with Benefit also. You guys know I love Benefit. So today I'm going to be creating this look and showing you all my techniques using all Benefit products, which is honestly very easy to do. <laughs> There's also a competition involved in this video. So if you want to win some makeup, then just keep on watching. So obviously I've already prepped and primed my skin. Clearly we need to do a little bit of matching around here. The sun may be out. That does not mean I get any ounce of tan whatsoever. These freckles are also fake, but I'll show you how I do that later on. I'll fake hair. One minute, let's just rectify the situation. I'm gonna use is my Benefit Pore Professional. I like to use the paired one. I'm not big into primers, honestly. I prefer just to use my moisturizer just because I have got more so like dry, dehydrated skin. This one's especially for filling in any pores, which I have just around this area here. Okay, so as you can see, I have not tanned my face. Golden Goddess meets Casper the Ghost. So obviously I want to suss out the situation a little bit. So today I'm going to be using the new Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. I've used this a few times now. Honestly, I wouldn't even say it's a foundation, more so a tint. It is lightweight to medium coverage. You can build it up, of course. I like to wear this foundation when I'm not wearing an awful lot of makeup, like today. There isn't a huge shade range in this foundation, but the reason for that being is because it is so lightweight that apparently it can suit a lot more skin types. I understand that in that, like, because it's not so pigmented, it's not going to, you know, create any harsh contrast between your skin and the foundation, I guess. It's supposed to let your skin peek through and just kind of be a little, a little twidge of color, I guess. Like I could be shade four or five at the moment. I'm actually gonna be applying this today as well with my hands, with my fingies. I have to do this with a more natural look. Just find that by applying it with your fingers, your fingers kind of absorb a little bit of the product so you're not gonna be super cakey. It's the most natural way to do your makeup. Oop, a little squidge of this. I'm gonna use shade four today. And I'm starting around the perimeters of my face. See already how that's just kind of matching it up, but you can still see the freckles. I don't want to apply a lot in here because I want my freckles to show up. I like to just put leftovers on my eyes. Whenever you want a little bit more coverage, press it on instead, as opposed to rubbing. And where you want to shear it out, just very gently rub it. So the way to describe it is a soft blur foundation. So it's done exactly what I wanted it to. It's just covered up. It's matched my body. It hasn't covered my freckles. I don't even look like I'm wearing foundation. Honestly, you swear it was just my skin color. So that's great. And to concealer, I'm gonna be using the Boing Hydrating Concealer in the shade one. I always use the shade number one. I actually don't even feel like my bags are that bad today. I kind of covered with them with the freckles, to be honest. But I'm just gonna apply this underneath the eyes. Not an awful lot. The key is to not use an awful lot. And again, I'm gonna blend it out with my fingers. It's gonna stop it from caking up and it's also gonna slightly, that's a super, super lightweight concealer. It's not full coverage. I wouldn't recommend that for like your heavy looks. As you can see, I haven't done anything to my eyelids. I, only a little bit, whatever's kind of left over my hands. I find that's kind of like a dead giveaway that you're wearing makeup. If you can see the concealer creasing on your lid. This is what we're looking like. You can still see my blemishes. You can still see all my little freckles. Now, obviously, with it being a million degrees outside, we do need to set our face slightly. I'm gonna be using the Hello Flawless powder in the shade Ivory. And it's very well loved. And I'm just gonna pop this where I get oily. So powder is what's gonna be a dead giveaway that you're wearing makeup. So you wanna make sure you don't apply too much of it. It's gonna warm up my face slightly using Hoola as per usual. And I just wanna show you guys this brush. This is the, this is a benefit brush, but I think it's actually originally for like your body and for like bronze in your body, but I love it for bronze in my face. Especially again for this more natural type look where I don't wanna be super sculpted, I just wanna be sun-kissed, you know, as if the sun 
cam down and kissed my face itself. That's what I want. So again, just the very perimeter of the face. Do not go crazy with this. I actually like to bronze up my nose quite a lot because if you think about it, if you were to naturally get the sun, your nose is going to get the brunt of it, isn't it? The only blusher from Benefit that I kind of tried and I liked so far was the Gold Rush, but, I, but I've seen this one sitting here and I was like, I need to branch out. Know yourself, Peachy Pinky, California. This smells like holidays. Oh, you guys know I'm absolutely obsessed with blusher. I just think it gives that real fresh faced look. Everyone has a bit of pigmentation in their skin everybody so if you completely cover that up it, that's gonna make you look like you're wearing makeup i lash on the blusher i swear to god i love it so much this one has a slight shimmer to it as well as you can see Ooh. and i like to put a little bit of it across the nose so for highlight, I'm going to be using Dandelion Twinkle. This is like the softest highlighter ever, which is perfect for this look. I actually don't like to wear a lot of highlighter when wearing this type of makeup look. I find highlighter, again, is what makes it look cakey. Just because it is shimmery and it brings out texture, it brings out the fact that you're wearing makeup, I find. I like to bring it up onto my brow bone and kind of this area here. Moving on to brows, you've seen me do this a gazillion and one times, but I'm of course using Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade three. I'm just gonna very lightly fill them in today and I'm not gonna carve them out. It just gives a more soft or natural effect that way. I actually find that I've been doing less and less to my brows recently anyways. My new rule is that if I spend more than two minutes doing my eyebrows, then I'm doing too much to them. <laughs> Setting that in place with my ready set brow. This is what's gonna give me the fluffiness. For the eyes, I'm only gonna apply a tiny amount of mascara. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Mine is absolutely manky at this stage, whoops. In this case, I like to do my top lashes first, just because they're the ones that need the most help. All right, moving on to the lips. You can do whatever the hell you want. You can go for a bow lip if you want to kind of go for that no makeup, but look at me being extra type of look. I'm not that person. I'm the person that pops on a little bit of lip gloss and out the door. Don't have to worry about it. Don't top it up throughout the day. That's just the way I want to live my life. This is the Punch Pop Lip Gloss in Sugar Cookie. It's just a nice nudie, nude shade. So that there is the finished look basically, but there is a few little things I want to do, I want to tweak. I've got blemishes here. I don't care about them, but some of you watching might want to know how I would cover them, say, or how I would disguise them. You see earlier, I had a lot more freckles than usual. I'm normally just like a white sheet. No pigmentation, no freckles. So whenever I do get like a blemish or anything like that, it's the only thing you can see. She painted on fake freckles using fake tan. Any fake time will do, it doesn't matter. I like to use a mousse. What I do is take a tiny little paintbrush and I just pop a little bit of the mousse onto whatever, a palette or it was my Hello Happy box, sorry. I literally just paint the freckles on. I like to do it before I do my foundation just because it's really gonna stick to the skin and then whenever I do take off my foundation, I'll still have a little bit of freckles there. But I like to go over it a little bit more whenever I have my foundation on, just to make the freckles a little bit more prominent. I learned this trick of Gina. She is incredible. I'll leave her video link below. Can't believe I didn't think of doing this with fake tan before. So as you can see, what I'm doing is just pressing it on and then using my finger to just blend it out. I like to do it straight away because the freckle actually comes onto your finger, as you can see here. It kind of imprints more freckles onto the skin because obviously it's a mousse and it's wet. Does that make sense? To be honest, that foundation's great. The freckles, you can really see them coming through anyway, but I just want to add a few more just to kind of have, you know, difference in color. It makes them look more natural. I am obsessed with freckles. I don't know how anybody, anybody, can cover them up. I think they're the most gorgeous thing ever. They make you look so youthful and gorgeous. I'm jealous. I'm so jealous of anyone who's got freckles naturally. I have got some dark freckles down here that I like to kind of make a little bit more prominent. I'm scarring here from old spots. I just put a little bit of freckle on it. The same with this over here. These ones are actually quite, these ones are so dead. They're very dried out so I'm just gonna put the tiniest amount on them. I like to put a little bit just around them as well, just so it doesn't look like it's too big chunks on my face. And there's how I do my freckles. If you don't want something as permanent as fake tan, just use the 
precisely my brow pencil in the shade 3 and it's not as permanent obviously as the thick tan but it's another alternative for you and here we have it here is my five minute makeup face you guys know me I'm a self-confessed cake face I absolutely love caking my face in makeup very much so a more all or nothing type of gal but this type of makeup makes me feel so so confident I walk out of the house wearing this, I feel good. The biggest kind of insecurities or annoyances, I guess, would be, would be how pale I am and I actually hate not having freckles. The Hello Happy Foundation gives me everything I need for this, like, five minute makeup look. Along with the freckles, I honestly feel, like, so fresh faced and just confident. Like, I feel confident in this makeup look. I think this is the perfect no makeup, makeup, natural look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Just do it. Do it. But before you go, we have got a competition. I told you, I told you. So nearly every time I've worked with Benefit so far, we have a competition together, we get you guys involved. I'll leave the prize right here. This is what you guys could win. So there is a post already over on my Instagram about this competition. That's where you have to tag three friends. You have to be following myself and Benefit Ireland, but you need no secret code. You need no secret code, which you can only find out by watching this video. Secret code is... I am hello happy. I just made that up on the spot. Do not judge me. Thank you so much. I'll leave full product details down below and also all details about the competition as well in case you're lazy and don't want to go over to... Uh, you, you know, I'll just leave them down below. But yeah, that's all for me. I'm going to stop annoying you. Best of luck with the competition and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.